back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. In this video, I wanted to share a few places that you can shop if you're looking to buy luxury. Some may say, oh, luxury is not the end or be all, and it's not. My end or be all is quality. And then if you can get something luxury, because they do have sometimes different things, um, I would say yes. The first place I'm always going to tell you guys is to go to the Outnet. The Outnet for me is like a go-to. If you are a girl who's average height, you have standard um, height for women, um, maybe even a petite woman, um, tall women will have an issue, and possibly someone who is considered plus size. If you are average height, you can get a lot of stuff from there. They do say that it is like a year behind as far as like the seasons, but to be quite honest, I would recommend getting the things that are essential to your wardrobe from there. Because that way you'll get something that is designer, but at the fraction of the price. They have a ton of brands on there from lower and from... Shoot, Alice and Olivia is still pretty pricey in my opinion, but they have a ton of stuff up to Zimmerman, designer things, every single thing. Jill Saunders, anything you can think of, they're on there. So the outlet is the first place. If you haven't shopped there, give them a try, guys. Intermix used to be one of them, but Intermix, I don't know if it's going out of um business or because I still see them pop up here and there, but definitely the outlet is gonna be your best friend. Take your time, put things in your wish list, uh, save things, pull inspiration. But the Outnet is one of the places that I would recommend looking at when trying to buy luxury. Other place is going to be Farfetch. You guys know Farfetch already. They do have sales often, so that's another plus with Farfetch. Your items may come from here. Your items may come from here when I mean America, or they may come from another country. So that's the good thing about Farfetch is that there's multiple boutiques you could say that's on there that sell the item. Um, and then based off of that, the price may actually change on certain things, especially shoes. But the Outnet is another place. But the Outnet and Farfetch does have really great designers and really great pieces. I know for Farfetch, a lot of the girls are buying their bags from there. If you were to buy a bag from Farfetch, I would say... Read those details, go for things that are giftable and that are excellent, okay? Because that essentially to me means like it's pretty much new and the person who had it took really good care of it. So if you don't want to spend the full price, you can go there, get a little discount and get you the item that you want. I think it's great. I think it's a really good way for anyone to dive into luxury if they want to. Some may say, oh, like I said, it's not about luxury, but it doesn't matter. Whatever works for you in your life, then that's what you do. Um, and if you want to go to Farfetch to get a deal, then that is 100% okay. <laughs> the third place is going to be your local outlets. And maybe not always local. You may have to travel to New York to like Woodbury, maybe travel to LA to the Desert Mall, Outlet Mall, things like that. Outlet malls are a really good way to start getting into luxury. Now, granted, they do say... Some of the designer stuff is like super old, but from what I have seen at Woodbury, you can really get a good bang for your buck if you go to the right one. Woodbury has been around for years. When I was in New York, I used to go all the time, which I really want to take a trip soon, guys. Just, I really do. Going to outlets is good as well. Sawgrass in Florida. It's not the biggest, but they do have a Fendi outlet. They have a David Yerman outlet. Stuart Weitzman, um, Bally's, they have Versace. Do they have Dior? No. But they have a, um, Ferragamo. They just have a lot of stuff there. I think Club Monaco is there as well. Really, really nice. So do not sleep on outlets. But here's my but. If you are going to shop at any of the outlets or any place that I already mentioned, you don't want to just grab things because you see it for a low price. Because what will happen is you'll end up buying things and then it's just sitting in your closet and you're not wearing it. And it's just a no-go. So think about what you need first before you go. Like I already know wherever I go, I need shirts. It's like the shirts these days, I'm just not liking them. So I have to be able to go to a different 
state or whatever or outlet or something just to see what's really out there. Because, honey, as a tall girl, I just ain't seeing them. Okay. <laughs> so that is another place that I would recommend shopping. Your outlets. Do not sleep on them. Really, really, really good place to shop for good discounts. The other place is going to be consignment shopping. Consignment shopping is so underrated. I never was a fan of it because I do not have the patience to go into a store and going through, picking through things. It's just never been my thing. However, if you go to one that is set up really good, you will find some amazing pieces, okay? They're authenticated. They're You don't have any issues with that. The quality is great depending on where you go, but go to a really good one, and I guarantee you'll end up with something that you love from these places and pay a fraction of the price. For me, that is always a win, especially if the item looks really, really good. So consignment shops are another one. Like I said, we do have labels in Atlanta, and we have a few more here. But for the girls who thrift all the time, I'm not going to say thrift. The girls who go consignment shopping, they know exactly where to go. And again, I would say go to an area which they consider wealthier. That's all I'm saying. Because <laughs> you may end up with some really good pieces. And so that's another place that you can shop. And for me, like I said, going to... Any type of consignment shop is a plus because you can get jewelry, you can get shoes, jackets, everything you can think of, they're going to be in a consignment shop. The other place is going to be Thread Up, which is a thrifting place. Now, I'm not a person who thrifts all the time. However, I am seeing that a lot of girls are finding good pieces on there. And I would say not so much for tall girls, but for the average height girls, you probably get really, really lucky on there. At the end of the day, it's just what it is. I'm tall, so I know where to go and I know where I shouldn't go. It's just, it will be like a waste of time for me. But if you're like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, maybe 5'9", and under, Thread Up will be a really good place for you to shop. And my last place is going to be, you'd be surprised, eBay. I got one more place, but eBay. So, one of my family members, they shop there and they tell me all the time that they find stuff. I went on a freaking hunt i went down the rabbit hole and to my surprise ebay authenticates the item for you so you won't worry about getting something that is not legit um so just ebay is another place but you just dive in do your research on it because you do it's the same thing as poshmark which is the last one poshmark authenticates um after 500 dollars like it's 501 they'll authenticate it so anything under that that you see that's designer and you know that it costs a lot of money, I wouldn't necessarily get it. I would I would just go, if it's under five, don't get it from Poshmark. Go and get it from the actual store. You know what I mean? That's because they don't authenticate it. So you don't want to end up with something that is not legit and you paid your money. That is going to be the worst experience ever. But Poshmark is another place where you can shop at. Follow shops that have good ratings, not so much the amount of followers, but really good ratings. I have a Poshmark shop. I'll link that below. But a lot of the stuff on it is older. I'm just trying to get rid of things. Um, the stuff sells. I'll do sales and stuff like that. But Poshmark is another place along with eBay. And guys, I hope you guys take notes on this because if you are looking to start to add a little bit of luxury to your wardrobe, even if it's small, you want to do it the right way and get the best bang for your buck so you can buy your next item, okay? <laughs> Make sure you guys are checking out those places if you're trying to dive into luxury. Um, again, you will get a bang for your buck and trust me, ultimately you'll start to learn where to go to buy certain things and where not to go. Thank you guys for tuning into the video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC. And my style services, Coco Styles NY on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.